Now on to a Valley News Live exclusive. Most of the COVID-19 deaths in Minnesota are coming from nursing homes. One Moorhead family says their mom went into a long care facility healthy, but now she's on a ventilator, clinging to life. In this exclusive interview, the family tells Valley News team's Joshua Pagaro the facility is to blame for what's happening. Felicia Rankin says her mom underwent hip replacement surgery months ago and was then taken to Moorhead Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center. But Rankin says it was the biggest mistake they made. The only thing you can be is hopeful. And we're hoping that we the day comes that we get to take her home. And I'm sure I'm hoping that soon because I know my mom. My mom is a fighter. Her mom, 65-year-old Karen Haroldson, is battling COVID-19, a disease they say she got at the facility. The family says she was supposed to stay at Moorhead Rehab for a short time as she recovered from surgery, but that stay ended up being prolonged, and now this concerns as she's currently on a ventilator in Fargo. Rankin says her mom has been fighting it for the last month and has been getting worse. She went from eating and drinking and talking to completely being on a, a ventilator within hours. Originally, she was taken to a hospital in Thief River Falls because there wasn't enough space locally. Yet, as things went downhill, she was flown by helicopter to Sanford in Fargo. Rankin says the family holds the long-term care facility responsible. They had put another female in with her, and my mother had caught the coronavirus from the lady, which had already been tested, and they were waiting for her test results to come back. Two weeks ago, we reported there were 21 cases and two deaths at Moorhead Rehab. While the facility refuses to release updated numbers or speak on camera, it tells us in a statement it is monitoring and screening residents as well as limiting visitors. Two years ago, it nearly had federal funds pulled after several violations were found and then later corrected. In Moorhead, Joshua Peguero, Valley News Live. For nearly two weeks, we've been sending emails and making calls to the Minnesota Department of Health to find out if they've inspected Moorhead Rehabilitation and had any violations were found. After following up with them again today, still no answer.